Well, uh, morning everybody. It's, uh, it's summertime somewhere, and um, I'm out in the yard. I've assembled my team. There's uh, Tippy, Tippy, Jack, and Tia, and I find there's something at the fence, uh, something on the other side of the fence. You know, I was in there, I did a bunch of clearing work, and I cleared up all behind the, uh, the fence line all the way up to the front of the property, and all the way back here the other fence line just to get rid of all the blackberries and uh, you know places where you know, places where the the, the, the bears were kind of hiding now d did I eliminate the bears no I just made it so I could see what's going on so can the dogs right because if you go on the other side that's all blueberries and uh, I mean if you probably look at it from an aerial view you just probably got about uh, well it's got eight and eight and so probably a good 10 acres worth of actual uh, ripe blue blueberries back there right now so that sure attracts a lot of uh, game and you I don't know I didn't uh, I, maybe I'll try to next couple of videos do uh, the coyotes at night oh it's crazy okay so I'm gonna do some things around here today I used the what did I use I used the backhoe yesterday and it's kind of dirty so it, I was moving the horse pile the horse manure pile so I'm going to set this up and we're going to extend the boom and we're going to do some uh, maybe uh, maybe I'm going to grease the arm and all the little joints. I'm going to stuff. say it throughout the video if you like what I'm doing hit the subscribe button comment hit the like button um, and did you call a friend today did you call an old pal reach out to somebody it makes a difference you'd be surprised okay you guys have a great day Grease tubes, you're gonna replace the grease tube. It's a little cap on the end. Take the cap off, open the back end. Can't, oh, can't do it with the gloves on. Ah! 
Okay. Okay, now. Uh, the end with no lip on it goes into the tube. Do you want to pull this back first though? Wait a second. Okay. It's supposed to be locked in there now. My luck, it's going to come loose like it did the last time. Okay. It goes right in there like that. Do yourself a favor. Clean all this shit out of here. Uh, put it in there. Clean your hands off. You go way simpler. Okay. Grab a cloth. Make sure it's done up. Try to wipe it off best you can. Let that thing go now, right? So now Okay, so you kind of get that. It's uh, it's not a five-minute project. Having this equipment is uh, it's expensive if you've got to get somebody to do it. If you're the operator, you should be maintaining your machine. You should be greasing it. You should be checking the hydraulic fluid. You should be checking all the hoses, making sure nothing's leaking. You should check it, check it. This is insured for the road, so. I drive around, I go get diesel with it, I get pressure washer, do some jobs. I, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, probably, I don't know if I'm sweating like a dog, but see, my hands are clean. All right, I had the gloves on. Okay, I still got more work to do. I gotta do the front now, the bucket and the, and the boom. And it, it requires that uh, it be fired up and then I gotta adjust the boom a little bit and things like that to get to some of them. So. It's definitely a one hour minimum, one hour job. And if you gotta load your, your grease gun a couple times, it could be an hour and a half to grease this thing properly. And, uh, and then I'm gonna take, I already washed it off, I'm satisfied with that. I'm gonna check the hydraulic fluid, I'm gonna check the diesel, I'm gonna check the motor oil, I'm gonna check the radiator, I'm gonna do all those type of things. Maintain your equipment, otherwise it becomes useless. Have a great day. I don't know if you can hear me, but the compressor's going. I did a whole bunch of uh, hydraulic fuel, hydraulic fluid also. As you know, I've changed, I've changed some belts over the, not belts, some hoses over the years that busted, and I never topped up the the the, the hydraulic. So I up the hydraulic. I checked the uh, engine oil, checked everything, you know, touch things, make sure you know everything's not broken, and. Uh, Okay, I think this filter is in great shape. Okay, this this it's after the last maintenance. There's not a lot of hours on it. Do you know what? Don't lose the uh, that the air compressor. Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Just a drop. You don't want anything in here to spill. Just a drop of uh, penetrating lubricant. Look at that. What a difference, okay? Feel that it's up there. 
I want to show you the other filter first off. Oh. Now this one's got a little bit of dirt in it. But all in all, it's not a really fucked up filter. Okay, I'm going to put this back together. It's going to take me a little bit. Oh. And uh, I'll come back. Okay. Last but not least, antifreeze. There's a little bucket here for the radiator. Pop that up. The engine oil, hydraulic oil, and the air cleaner. The hydraulic fluid, motor oil, gear case oil, hydraulic oil. It's got diesel in it. Um, that was on safety. That took, I had to load the grease gun four times, uh, three times. I had to load the grease gun three times. So that, you saw, that takes five minutes and then all of this and then moving it. I filled up the tires, made it good, the pressure gauge out, did all that. Uh, so it's, uh, besides the bear, Big bear at the back fence there came right up, and the camera was in, started charging. Oh, let me get in the shade here a little bit, you guys. Oh, that's better. Uh, you have to have a little work area too, right? There's my. Uh, uh, this would cost you a small fortune to maintain all this equipment if you had to send it out. So you got to think about that too, everyone. Um, hi, hi. Of course, the chair's in the way. Can you see him? Where's that puppy there? Can you see her? Okay, you guys, they wander around, chase rats and things like that, and moles. Did you, uh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough of a video, you guys. I have some, so if you like what I'm doing, the uh, like button, easy for you to say. And I'm gonna get this thing, I'm gonna get the, well, let's, let's, let's show you what we gotta do. Okay, so we pretty well got everything wrapped up. It's okay to walk under that, that uh, bucket because it's locked into place. So let's fire this up. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, orange. Might be a long video. Oh, excuse me. Peach. Aha. Uh -huh. Drop put the side on. Easy to do. You need to check this stuff with the, oh, the boom up too, right? I said I would end off in the studio. It's nice in here. It, uh, I got the doors open. Uh, a couple weeks ago you couldn't work in here. It was so hot. But now it's nice. Like if I wanted to work in here, I'm not gonna. Okay, you guys. I probably say it too much during the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, comment. Comment. Uh, algorithm there for YouTube picks it up. I'm going to start posting these videos every couple days now, not every day, every couple days. See how that goes. I'm um, over 7,000 subscribers. That's really nice. 
monetize pretty soon. I'll be able to sell merchandise and do all that. So that's what the fall is going to bring you guys. I'm looking forward to that and I'm going to work hard for you guys and I'm going to try to entertain you. All right.